Jesus called his 12 disciples together and gave them authority to drive out evil spirits and to heal every disease and every sickness. There are the names of the 12 apostles first Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew James and his brother John the son of Zebedee Philip and Bartholomew Thomas and Matthew the tax collector James son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus Simon the patriarch and Judas Iscariot who betrayed Jesus the mission of the 12 these 12 men were sent out by Jesus with the following instructions do not go to any gentile territory or any samaritan territory towns instead you are to go to the lost sheep of the people of Israel go and preach the kingdom of heaven is near heal the sick bring the dead back to life heal those who suffer from dreadful skin diseases and drive out demons you have received without paying so give without being paid do not carry any gold silver or copper money in your pockets do not carry a beggar's bag for the journey or an extra shirt or shoes or a stick a worker should be given what he needs when you come to a town or village go in and look for someone who is willing to welcome you and stay with him until you leave that place when you go into a house say peace be with you if the people in that house welcomes you let them let your greeting of peace remain but if they do not welcome you then take back your greeting and if some home or town will not welcome you or listen to you then leave that place and shake the dust off your feet I assure you that on the judgment day God will show more mercy to the people of Sodom and Gomorrah than to the people of the town coming persecutions listen i am sending you out just like sheep to a pack of wolves you be you must be as cautious as snakes and as gentle as doves watch out for there will be men, there will be men who will arrest you and take you to court and they will whip you in the synagogues for my sake you will be brought to trial before the rulers and kings to tell the good news to them and to the gentiles when they bring you to trial do not worry about what you are going to say or how you will say it when the time comes you will be given what you will, what you will say for the words you will speak will not be yours they will come from the spirit of your father speaking through you men will hand over their own brothers to to be put to death and fathers will do the same to their children children will turn against their parents and have them put to death everyone will hate you because of me but whoever holds out to the end will be saved when they persecute you in one town run away to another one i assure you that you will not finish your work in all the towns of israel before the son of man comes No pupil is greater than his teacher no slave is greater than his master so a pupil should be satisfied to become like his teacher and a slave like his master if the head of the family is called Beelzebul the members of the family will be called even worse names whom to fear so do not be afraid of people whatever is now covered will covered up will be uncovered and every secret will be made known what i am telling you in the dark you must re- repeat it in broad daylight and what you have heard in private you must announce from the ho- house tops do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul rather be afraid of god who can destroy both body and soul in hell for only a penny you can buy two sparrows yet not one sparrow fails falls to the ground without your father's consent as for you even the hairs of your head have all been counted so do not be afraid you are worth much more than many sparrows confessing and rejecting christ if anyone declares publicly that he belongs to me i will not i will do the same for him before my father in heaven but if anyone rejects me publicly 
I will reject him before my Father in heaven. Not peace but a sword. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the world. No, I did not come to bring peace but a sword. I came to set sons against their fathers, daughters against their mothers, daughters-in-law against their mother-in-laws. A man's worst enemy will be the man, members of his own family. Whoever loves his father or mother more than me is not fit to be my disciple. Whoever loves his son or daughter more than me is not fit to be my disciple. Whoever does not take up his cross and follow in my steps is not fit to be my disciple. Whoever tries to gain his own life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will gain it. Rewards Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes God's messenger, because he is God's messenger, will share in his reward. And whoever welcomes a good man, because he is good, will share in his reward. You can be sure that whoever gives even a drink of cold water to one of the least of these my followers, because he is my follower, will certainly receive a reward. Poidam nam loga puru venum Poidam suvishesha vumai Poidam nam